Every time I talk, the rain just gets louder and louder. Ah, no, gross. Oh, I just draw my beauty blender. Ew. Oh, hey there. Did you notice my glow? I bet you did. This is why you clicked on this video. <laughs> channel it's Ariel artistry here and today we're gonna be doing some glow so now that summer is literally about to be here in like two seconds um, now that the weather is getting all nice I really wanted to do a nice glowy makeup this video will help you get that glowy skin that you worked so hard for this quarantine okay <laughs> so we're just using simple products i literally just go over my skin not my eyes or my lips or anything so i'll definitely leave that down in the description <laughs> i'll definitely leave it down below if you guys want to see what i used um but yeah before we get into the video please subscribe to my channel be a part of my mermaid squad and don't forget to put your notification bell on so you know whenever i post a new video and let's just get started because I don't know. I don't want to talk too much because I haven't made a makeup tutorial in literally years. So I don't want to ramble too much because I tend to do that a lot. <laughs> so if you want to see how to get this glowy AF makeup look, just keep watching. Hey guys, it's been a minute. So it's going to rain at three o'clock and it's currently at 1237. Um, I feel like the rain is literally about to come down every time i talk the rain just gets louder and louder and like i mentioned my last vlog if you haven't been watching my vlogs definitely check them out because i show you guys like my life <laughs> so yeah um once it rains in here you hear every single raindrop so i'm not rushing i'm just trying to make this video not sound like shit so let's get started as you can see I already did my eyes because we're mostly focusing on like the skin in this video so yeah I have my eyebrows and my eyes already done if you want to know how to do this look and my eyebrows I do have it listed on my channel I do have like a day and night look too so definitely check that out and my eyebrows I do in most of my makeup tutorials so the first thing I do want to talk about to get glowy skin is definitely your skincare Take care of your skin. I know it's like everybody says it, but it's honestly true because I'm gonna post up a picture of like years ago when I didn't even know what skincare was. My skin was just so textured and it just, it did not look cute at all. So definitely start with skincare. So that's gonna help you get that nice glowy skin and what you eat. So like they say, you are what you eat. So definitely implement like turmeric cause that helps with like inflammation and just try to, eat more greens and you'll see your skin change don't eat sugar because this is what happens when you eat too much sugar because yeah whatever um so for makeup purposes we're gonna be doing glowy skin that way so i already have my skincare on um i do already have a daytime skincare routine and a nighttime skincare routine on my channel i am gonna be updating it because um some things have changed but yeah the first thing we're gonna do Clearly I missed you guys because I won't stop talking and I said um, we're on a time crunch But the first thing I'm gonna do is take my hydrating primer. So even though I do have oily skin I love to go in with oils Hydrating products just to make sure my skin is not dehydrated because that is the thing I used to have really oily skin, but it was very dehydrated So just make sure you're drinking enough water. You're putting enough hydrating products on your skin Because you will definitely see a difference. So I'm just gonna put this all over so after primer I'm gonna go in with my handy dandy red corrector and this just helps with this coloration you guys already know I talk about this a lot and then I just blend it out with this fluffy brush all right so after the red corrector I'm just going to take my milk makeup foundation I really do like this if you are oily like me you do have to set this though because it does move throughout the day if you don't set it um, my last makeup tutorial I did test this out um, and I've been wearing it ever since then but yeah it just doesn't it doesn't really stay on so I'm gonna show you what powder I've been using to help it stay on a little bit longer because it just it really is it's called blurring foundation and it really does blur every like it's so look how pretty it is it's so beautiful so I think this is perfect for 
your glowing makeup routine. And it doesn't feel heavy. I love it. Ooh, see, like my skin still looks like my skin. And I love that so much, especially for the summer because you don't want it to look like you have foundation on, you know? And don't forget the neck, as I always say. And the shade that I am in the foundation is Cinnamon. So for concealer, I'm going to be using the same one I always use to stay naked, but I'm actually going to mix uh, 60NN and 70NY. So first I'm going to start off with 60NN and I'm just going to do like a couple dots. Just kidding. We're going to swipe. Let's just <laughs> swipe it on there. And then I'm still going to leave the lightness here on my nose, my cubic bow, my forehead. And then I'm going to go in with the 70 NY, which is a little bit darker. I'm just going to mix the two under my eyes because you still want to keep lightness where the sun hits you. But for under my eyes, I want it a little more natural. So that's why I mix the two. So yeah, I actually went to the beach recently and I wore just concealer and I freaking loved it. It stayed on so nicely because this mascara mascara uh found a concealer <laughs> god this concealer is um waterproof so i didn't go in the sun or anything i mean the god i can't talk i didn't go in the water or anything but it was still hot so yeah see how it it just gives you a little bit of highlight nothing crazy but i'm loving this combo right now the concealer and the foundation it just really makes it look like you have flawless skin, honey, because that's what a uh, quarantine glow up is all about. <laughs> See, so pretty. So before I go into setting my face with powder and under my eyes, I do wanna go in with this liquid highlighter. So this is from Marc Jacobs and it's in the shade Do You Do Drops. And my friend actually gave this to me. This is probably expired, but you know, it is what it is. I'm gonna take this with the Morphe M562 brush. It's like this little small blending brush. And I'm just gonna put a little right here. Bruh. Oh my God, that's so much. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, but see how it just blends out nicely? So you can just place it on there. You can use your finger too, but I feel like a brush just kind of places it right where you want it. And this gives you a nice do. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. And you want to do this before you set your foundation because it can cling on to the powder and you don't want that. And now I'm just going to take my finger and just mush it into the foundation since it is lifting a little bit. But that's going to prep us for the powder and it's totally optional. You don't have to do powder um, highlighter, but <gasps> the rain started early. No. Weather Channel, you lied to me. I'm upset. I'm upset. I tried so hard to beat it. I mean, hopefully you guys don't hear it. If not, I don't know what to tell you. Now I'm stuck out here, like I can't leave. Well, I guess I'll just talk louder. <laughs> the rain just played me, did you hear that? <laughs> and I just used one drop of this. I didn't go too crazy, cause it is like, as you saw, it's really pigmented. All right, now we're gonna set under our eyes with the banana powder. And I'm gonna take a Real Techniques setting brush. So for my face, I'm gonna use the All Nighter Powder by Urban. And we're just gonna set the foundation. I feel so weird yelling right now. <laughs> and this just helps it like make it waterproof. Like it'll definitely stay on with this powder, the foundation. And I like to just press it into the skin. So I really know it's like locked and loaded, you know? The rain calmed down a little bit, thank God. Um, so now for blush, I'm gonna go in with the Lip and Cheek Stain by Milk, and this is in the color Work. It's really pretty. You just have to really, like, if you're my complexion, you just gotta really put it on there so you could see it. But this just kind of adds to the glowy skin because it has, like, some luminosity to it. And then again, we're gonna just blend with our fingers. It's, like, there, but not. But it's... That's how I like it for summer, you know? Now I'm gonna go in with a liquid bronzer. Uh, this is actually a cream, sorry. A cream bronzer, and this is by Tarte. It's called The Sculptor. If I can't find this one, I will link something similar down below because I know this was on sale last time. And Jester's hair is literally all over it. But I'm just gonna put this, um, you know, to contour wherever I wanna contour. <laughs> 
So I do my cheeks, my nose, my jaw, and then my forehead. And I'm just gonna use this little angled kabuki brush to blend it out. Pretty, see how I have like a nice glow? The foundation gives you a nice glow too. It's really, really pretty. And then for my nose, I'm just gonna use um, another Real Techniques brush. So now for our highlighter, it's actually darker than the one that we first put on because you already have that glow. You don't wanna add any more color. You kinda just wanna add like a glow, if that makes any sense. So I'm gonna take uh, the Becca highlighter in Topaz with my Morphe M510 brush. I'm just gonna go over where I put the highlighter before. See, it just gives you a nice glow. And this is more gold. The other one's like a gold champagne-y color. This one is just like straight up bronzy gold. So it just gives the highlight some contrast too, which is really nice. Like you see that? That's really pretty. So just remember, you want to work with a lot of creams and liquids when you want like a nice glowy look. You can do powders too, but it's just something about cream and liquid that just really gives you such a nice glow. See, my skin looks like I don't have makeup on. I mean, to me anyway, I know this is probably a lot to some for some people, but to me it looks like I don't have any makeup on. And that's how I like it. I'm just blending the contour down here because it was looking a little cray cray. And then we're gonna go back in with bronzer because I honestly forgot. <laughs> so we're gonna use uh, the Becca Ipanema Sun bronzer. And I know it's a little crusty and crunchy, but I'm almost done. So you guys won't have to see this crusty ass one anymore. I'm just gonna go over where I put the liquid bronzer. All right, so hopefully the lighting is okay. Um, the lights above me that always flicker just went out. So it's all right, I'm still gonna go forward with the video because things happen in life and you just gotta deal with it, you know? So I'm trying to have this new attitude about things. Like I'm not gonna stress over things I can't control. Like I can't control the rain and I can't control this light. I mean, I can control it technically, but if it goes out, I can't go get a new one right this second. So might as well just make do with what I can control, you know, life lesson. <laughs> All right, so we're basically done with the face. I'm just gonna do my eyes really quick and my lips and then that's it. And you can like, see, I mean, I already have because I took a shower and I like to use coconut oil. So I already have like a little glow on my collarbone, but let's add some more, shall we? <laughs> so you can do this with the dew drops. This is perfect for that. But you see, look at that. That's so pretty, especially with this little brush. I feel like you can place it anywhere. That's why I really like liquid because it just, I don't know, it just adds like a whole different vibe. And then you can also do it to your shoulders if you're wearing like an off the shoulder shirt. But yeah, liquid is where it's at. If you want like a nice glowy, oh yes. If you want like a nice glowy look. So you see like my cheeks, how it has that like champagne-y. But if I'm in the sun, you can see them both mixed together. It's really pretty actually. So yeah. So let me do my eyes and my lips and then I'll be back to end this video. <laughs> All right. And the last step, hello. The last step to setting your makeup to make sure your glowiness stays all day is setting spray. So I'm gonna use the Urban Decay D Slick because I am oily. They do have a lot more ranges of sprays. So definitely if you wanna make sure this makeup stays on all day, even though we have like waterproof stuff on, just spray your face. Mm. And it smells so freaking good. And another thing I wanna mention is this Quick Fix by Urban Decay. This is bomb. So I brought this to the beach and everyone like freaked out because it has coconut in it and it smells so good. And it also gives you some nice hydration so that'll also give you a really nice glow. So throughout the day, I'll like spray this if I need like a bit of a refresher or I need to wake up or something, I'll just spray this and it just gives me a really nice glow. So you can use this, you can use Max Fix Plus, even though we don't support Mac on this channel. Um, you can use a bunch. They have a bunch of like just mister sprays that you can just spray throughout the day. So that being said, this is the completed look. I finally don't have a nude lip on because that's all I've been wearing. So I really wanted to switch it up to a darker lip and my hair is starting to dry. So yeah, I'm looking pretty cute. I love my skin. I love how glowy it is. 
and it still looks like my skin you know what i mean like it doesn't look like i have way too much makeup on it looks like i just woke up like this you see the glow it's so nice but it's not overkill and yeah like the blush i put it on you can't really tell but i could see it in person the camera's probably not picking it up but it's just like a little tint of pink and then yeah you can pop like a nude lip with this or a gloss or whatever you want yeah this is how you get glowy skin and then look at my chest my chest is nice and glowy too so i'm really excited for summer 2020 because of everything that happened but it's fine we're at a new beginning i hope you guys like this video i am really excited because i miss doing makeup honestly i finally feel like inspired since summer is here we can do like cute little videos like this or whatever you guys want just leave it in the comments down below whatever suggestions you have don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel be a part of my mermaid squad and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs>